prime number is a number that has only two factors, one and itself. Welcome back to Learning with the Parsleys. If it's your first time watching this channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, today I am going to teach you sets. However, today we are going to look at sets, union, and intersection. This is what we are going to look at today. Union and intersection sets union and intersection so look at this venn diagram we have a and b right so the shaded area shows a union b so here but the so look at the intersection the great the shaded area here is showing the intersection right so let us do example number one list the members of the following sets we have universal set prime numbers less than 20 set a prime numbers between 1 and 14 Set B, prime numbers between 12 and 20. So, we are going to list the members for these sets. Alright. Universal set. They said that they, because the universal set consists of prime numbers less than 20. Right? We are going to list prime numbers less than 20 for the universal set before you start to list the members you must you should know what is a prime number if you ask me i will tell you that a prime number is a number that has only two factors one and itself i repeat a prime number is a number that has only two factors, one and itself. Right? So, now that we know what is a prime number, we are going to list prime numbers less than 20 for the universal set. Bear in mind, one is not a prime number because one has only one factor right and only one can divide it into one exactly and when we talk about a number divide into a number exactly it simply means that no remainder should leave when you divide a number example two into two goes one time one into two goes two times however no remainder leave therefore 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. These are prime numbers. However, these are prime numbers less than 20. Alright, so mem set A consists of prime numbers between 1 and 14. That means I am going to write down the prime numbers that between 1 and 14. So we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. You see that? So this is set A. These are the elements, our members of set A. So, so, so let us look at set B. Right? Set B... Set B contain prime numbers between 12 and 20. Therefore, 
13, 17, and 19 are the elements or members of set B. Right? Look at this Venn diagram. This Venn diagram is representing the, the above information. Right? This Venn diagram is representing the above information. So here we have A and B. So the so A union B right is all the members that in A and B. So we have 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and 19. Right? So all the members that in A and all the members in B, right? Including the, at the intersection, which is third. Let us do example number two. Here we have three sets. We have the universal set X and Z. What do you notice about these sets? All the elements or members are already listed. Therefore, we can draw a suitable Venn diagram to represent this information. So I am going to draw two circles. So this one is X and this one is Z. Right? So, we are going to put in the information in these circles. So, let us write down set X members. So, we have 6 in X, but we don't have 6 in Z. So, we're going to write 6 in X. So, we move on to the next number. We have 7 in x but we don't have seven in z so we're gonna write seven in x we have eight in x but we don't have eight in z so we're gonna write eight in x we have nine in x and we have nine in z that simply means we have to put the nine in the intersection because Nine in both in both sets. Right? So let us look at ten. Ten is in X, however, ten is in Z. So ten would have to be in the intersection. Because that's what they have in common. Right? So now we are going to list the members our member of Z. So we already use nine and ten. In the intersection therefore we only have 11 here you see that 11 here so 9 and 10 the intersection for these two sets so let us look at the universal set there are some numbers that we don't have in these two sets. Therefore, they are going to be outside of the set. So let us look. Um, we have 12. And we have 13. We also have 14. So these three numbers are not a member of either. Are not a member of X. And Z. Therefore, we have to put them outside these sets. You see that? So this is the Venn diagram aspect. So now we have a suitable Venn diagram. Right? So if they ask you now to find... So if they ask you to find X intersect z you 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 will see like this so x and the upside down u upside down u 
So it would be the intersection would be 9 and 10. So what if they ask you to find x union z? That simply means that we are going to list out all the members that are in x and z. So we know that we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? So x union z. Members of x and z. So we list all the members that in x and z. So this is how we represent. So this is how we solve a problem like this. So x intersect z. We have 9. We have 9 and 10. X union Z, we have everything inside these two circle, circles, right? But these numbers are not included because these numbers are not in set A and Z. Therefore, they are outside, so they are not a member. member. So the union is X. Union Z would be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? So this is the end of another excited and informative lesson. If you like the video, please remember to subscribe, share. Thank you for watching. Learn with the passes. See you next time. See you later. I am out.